Now, uh, baking to me is an art as well as it is crafting. You can do so many things, possibilities are endless. Um, one of the things that I did for a while was making, like I said, favors for parties. And I focus mainly on cookies. It's something that is very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Um, pretty much everybody can do it at home. And uh, it's something that actually if you're going to buy from, you know, these companies to sell this type of um, items online, you can you can find beautiful pieces, but you have to pay pretty much an arm and a leg for them. So I'm going to show you tonight a very nice, easy way to do them yourself. Um, these ones are always a great idea for holidays as a little presents for, um, you know, Valentine's is next month. This could be done as Christmas presents. This could be done Mother's Day. You can prepare a little nice basket. And uh, there is so many options, so many options. So tonight, I'm going to show you how I am going to utilize the beautiful supplies from Gone Artsy. And um, we're going to make uh, pretty cookies that can be used either for this coming Valentine's. It could be used for an engagement party, a bridal shower, a wedding, um, anniversary, birthday, whatever. Whatever you want to use them for. I chose the design of a heart, like I said, thinking that, you know, Valentine's is around the corner. Sometimes we have, like, kids in school, we want to send a little something um, to their teachers or, um, you know, the other kids in their classroom. And uh, I think this is a cute idea. So let's get started. Once again, if you guys have a question or a comment, um, Please type it in capital letters so I know you're directing to me. All right? So let me show you what I did. Okay. So today I baked few heart shaped cookies and this is my uh, baking mat when I'm doing this I usually do it in the other side uh, my crafting area is in a, a corner in my kitchen so I'm usually in that area by the oven and the um, uh, countertops working on this but I'm gonna move everything here so I can share it with you so I made some uh, heart shaped cookies and uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, video tutorials or um, this um, pictures of very very elaborated cookies they do it with royal icing and they're piping there and have I done those yes they are very um, beautiful but this is what I think about them they take a lot of time to make you have to be very very precise you have to uh, master the art of making ice in the right consistency so uh, your piping is going to be done the right way and uh, I just think that for a, an important event using fondant makes the cookie look more elegant and at the same time it's so much easier so let me get my little cup with water and let's get this party started. Everybody's very quiet. I haven't seen nothing from nobody. So I have my cup of tea here. Let's see if I don't lose my voice. All right. Am I making you guys sleepy or something? 
Everybody's so quiet. Alright. I mean, can you guys hear me? Hello? <laughs> All right, so what I have here is a uh, fondant that I have previously colored. Uh, like I said, this is not that expensive. You can make it yourself too, it's not that hard to make. Um, I'm planning on making a white heart and a very pale pink heart. Okay, and um, I recommend you when you're working with fondant this is it, this is the same as if any of you ladies work with like um, that uh, how you call those the no the, no the play-doh the uh, oh my gosh I blank out you shape it and then you put it in the oven and bake it and then you have like a hard rest in peace yeah I cannot think of the name right now but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, this little pouch in here has some uh, cornstarch. Yeah, clay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, my brain is not working right. All right. So what I'm going to do with this little piece of white is I'm gonna add a little piece of pink. And uh, I'm gonna, I, want, I wanna accomplish a very light uh, a very light shade of pink. Yeah. Yeah, those, the clay, there's people that make, um, like, fox or, you know, fake <laughs> cookies or fake sweets out of clay, and they look so cute. You can use them for many, many, uh, as, as you know embellishments for many different projects I love when they make those little cookies with um, with the clay and they they make like chocolate chip cookies and things like that I love sweets I mean you guys know I'm a baker so and this is that's what I that's my job I mean that's my real uh, full-time job and unfortunately where I'm working right now I don't have the option of being very creative because um, they just have what, you know, they just make what they make. And uh, yes, Rhonda, I'm making, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just look up and saw you saying that I'm making uh, real cookies. Yes, they are real. But like I said, if you are into clay, you want uh, to make these ones out of clay, they are very cute. You can use them as um, embellishments for little cards. You can make them minis. You can make them as an embellishments for, um, for cards or flower centers or um, bow centers. I hope I don't lose my voice. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, in my head today, well, what I'm thinking of is Valentine's. I'm thinking on maybe a wedding, maybe a uh, bridal shower, um, something like that, you know? That's what I'm picking up hearts. So, once again, fondant, you're always gonna work it just like you work your um, clay. So I want to leave this one a little bit thicker than usual because um, because I want to do an imprint on this one. Hello Kimberly. Yeah, not only these ones are real cookies, they just came out of the oven so they are super fresh. Um, Okay, so my experiment for today, it's going to be using this amazing laces from uh, 
going to RC to make an imprint on the fondant and then using the fondant to decorate our cookies. The first one I'm going to try, it's uh, this doily. Uh, this ones, this set of cookies I'm making right now, uh, probably my kids are going to eat them. Probably they're going to just remove the fondant from the top. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll probably just will wash my lace before using it because if somebody's going to consume these, of course you want something that is clean. Um, and like you see, I put a different mat on top of my uh, desk because we're talking about something somebody's going to consume probably. You know, they're going to eat it, hopefully, because they're very delicious. Some people, oh, I don't want to eat it because it's so pretty. Well, you make it thinking that somebody is going to eat it. And, yeah. <laughs> so, the laces that I'll use uh, to, make in, to make the imprints, you will... Um, wash them, sorry. I'm telling you, my brain is spaced out today. <laughs> you wash them and let them dry. So you have a clean item you're working with. The other option you have, it's like, let's say, you love this, this design. You love the uh, little impression on it. You can make yourself a mold. And then, make the use the fondant inside the mold and make it, you know, like, it's going to be two different uh, uh, looks. Anyway. Let's try this one, see how it's going to look. So I'll put my rolling pin right in the center of the doily and press down and then press up. Let's see how my impression looks. Can you see it? Try it one more time. I'm going to do it in the other side. This time I'm going to press a little bit less. So I'm going to press one side and I'm going to press the other side. You want to make an impression, but remember the surface underneath is pliable. So if you press, it's going to expand. You don't want to lose the detail on your doily. Okay, so that's how we're going to get the impression. All right. The good thing about fondant is like you used it, you're not happy with it, so you just reshape it. And I'm telling you, this is something that I can play with all day and all night. Okay. What I'm using for my cookies today it's a shortbread, it's a regular shortbread cookie. I was going to make sugar cookies, but I know um, my husband likes shortbreads better than uh, sugar. So I make the batch and I make a separate batch for him. And he don't like any icing or anything. He just like the plain cookie. All right, let's see this one. Can you see it? Okay. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same cookie cutter I use for my um, cookie. Actually, let me do the small one. I like the center of this doily a lot. It's like a flower. Put in the center. Press down. Wiggle a little bit. you have your first impression for your cookie right now I'm gonna use I want to use a different one let's see uh, let's try another one I'm gonna do two pink and two white and then that's not gonna be it 
we're gonna make them look pearlescent and then we're gonna make the package for it because of course you're not gonna just handle a cookie to your guests right uh, or you know you're not gonna handle a cookie just like that as a present you need to make a beautiful presentation so we want to look uh, work on that so this is one of my favorite laces from the store it's the I think it's called cathedral um, lace I love this lace I think it's so pretty and I want an impression of it and there you go oh I love this And this is going to be our two pink ones. You see how pretty is it? Like you can see all the detail from the, let me see, it looks like kind of dark in here today. You can see all the detail from the lace now on the fondant. Okay. So I'm gonna set this one aside. So we have the two pink ones. I'm gonna I would like to work now with a white one. Alright, so let's do the white one. I love working with well if you guys follow me or um, have seen my classes it seems like I am always working with the same three shades <laughs> I like whites I like greens and pink and I know I promise this year I'm gonna just venture a little bit more um, with color and I promise I will but I'm not sure when. <laughs> yeah, next next month, uh, my projects for next month, they're gonna be a little more colorful. And it's it's not that I don't like color, it's just like I think I mean I think this the shades of uh, creams or you know whites, all different sorts of whites and creams, they're just so elegant and pretty. I don't know. Okay, like I said, this is just cornstarch to avoid the uh, fondant to stick to your mat. Uh, and I'm gonna sprinkle the little one a little bit on top so the lace don't stick to it. And let me see what else I have here. Uh, what about... Oh, I like this. What about, you see this shaping here? I think this is going to look pretty. So, right here. All right. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Who thought? Who thought that you were going to be able to use um, laces? Yeah, this is very pointy. All right. And there you go. Okay. Pretty. I'm gonna set that one to this side. I'm gonna make one more for the small cookie and then we're going to go to the next step. A 
Okay, let me see. I know there's a question in here somewhere. Let's see. I'm trying to read the... Uh, what the question with the glue is. <laughs> I just see something with glue. Okay, let's do the second one. Yeah, my uh, the lace need to be washed first. And yes, this is something that you can eat. We are working with real cookies and we're working with real fondant. Um, when I mention clay, um, when I mention clay, it's saying that, okay, I got it. <laughs> um, that this, you know, it's it's pretty much the same technique as when people do clay and they do those little like charm, like little hang, uh, yeah, like little charm for um, chunky charms or for um, keychains or whatever. And they look very cute. They make macaroons. Like it was a, a time where everybody was making those little macaroons. Um, yeah, so that's why I mentioned the clay, but this is fondant and this is what they use for, um, decorating wedding cakes. Um, uh, it's completely edible before using your, your, um, before using your, our lace for the impression, you're going to wash your lace and dry it. And, uh, I love this, this, this one does such a beautiful impression I absolutely love it so this is the last cookie and then we are going to glue it yes we're gonna glue it to the cookie but yeah we're not gonna use glue if that's the question going around <laughs> we're gonna make a stick to the cookie but we are not using glue in baking world when you glue fondant to any surface, you're gonna use a brush, and you're gonna use water. That's how you glue things. That's how you glue fondant, with water. So, I am going to take my fondant, and I'm going to make the edges smooth. And then we brush some water and this is gonna activate the powdered sugar on the fondant and it's gonna make it very very sticky and it's gonna make it stick to the cookie so here we go Once you have it in the cookie, you don't want to touch it too much because you don't want to lose the impression. Um, usually if I do this for a uh, order, what I'll do is like I make up to this point and then I, leave, I let them air dry for a few hours before I keep working with them. Why? So that way... Um, that way the fondant is not soft anymore and you're not gonna ruin the impression. All right, so next one. And, um, I mean, I, I baked since I was, I want to say, my first job, real, real job, was at 16. I'm sorry, I'm doing this out of camera. When I was 16, I started working in a grocery store. And then, I didn't want to be a cashier, I wanted to work in one of the departments. 
So I asked him to transfer me to the baking department and that's how I started baking. I fall in love with baking because it's just, you know, another kind of art. Like you can create so many beautiful things. And um, I did one too many of the big ones, so I'm gonna use this one for the small one. Uh, yeah, so for the longest time I was in the beauty industry. You know, I got married very young and then I had my son and um, I wanted to work from home, so I went to beauty school and um, long story short, Oh my gosh, Lucy. Are we still trying to... Um, okay, are we doing this... Are we for reals on these translations or... Or no? I don't know. I don't know how to take it. <laughs> anyway, my story. So I wanted to work for homes, from home, so I went to beauty school and I... I I work in the beauty industry for about 15, 16 years. Then when I had my daughter, I, um, when she was one year old, I went back to the, to the baking. And I, I went back because, and I started doing this from home because when my daughter turned one, for her birthday party, I wanted cookies as favors. And I started looking for prices in different places. There's there's many, many places online that you can actually order cookies from. But they wanted to charge me about $6 a piece for a cookie just like this. And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't afford paying $6 for one cookie. So I started doing this. Um, and I have a page, of a Facebook page with some of my creations in there. The thing is that um, this is something so pretty and you can do yourself at home. So I'm telling you guys, just try it. Okay, so now, the same way you have your uh, pearl powders and stuff, uh, Um, you know the pearlescent powders that you use when you work mixed media and stuff there are some items like that for baking this is totally ed uh, edible and um, they are called um, pearl dust they come in gold they come in pearl they come in so many different colors my favorite one the pearl one because it gives that shin to those cookies without changing the color. This one I will use over a um, more like a creamy color cookie to give it that goldish uh, color. Uh, okay, so let me just open this. This is a very, very thin powder. And you apply it with a dry brush. It's a dry brush and you just want just so little. You're gonna take your cookie and you just want to brush it. It's a very dry, I mean it's a dry brush, you just got very very little on it and it's gonna make such such a big difference. It's gonna take this cookie from a number f eight that it is right now to a number uh, 20. <laughs> I don't think the camera will capture, but it's totally pearlescent now. You can, if you want to do this, um, like do some of the details, like you can see here the petals of the flower on the lace or the little center. If you would like to do those, like more, um, make it more vivid, you can use a little bit of vodka or a clear vanilla extract and wet this little powder and it works like a paint. So this is like you're doing a dry, you know, you're 
dry brushing something like you did your crafting and you just want that little hint of white over it and you just take a dry brush and then I don't know if I don't know why my, my light don't look so bright today usually it's very bright Can you see the, the, the pearlescent on it now? You just make it like one step, like one, like, you just make it so pretty. This is just like a final touch for it. I love them. And we're gonna do the same thing with the pink one. Just very so slightly. You don't have to put a whole lot, it's very, very little. A dry brush and now you can see oh you can see this one better oh yeah you can see it better in this one this one is showing the pearlescent just beautifully all right so one last one then I'm also going to give you two options how to wrap your um, cookies. Something a little bit more formal, something a little more casual. Then it's going to be up to you. Look how beautiful. Like I said, you can use these beautiful laces to do the impression and the fondant the same way I did it. Or... Um, you can make yourself a mold, like a silicone mold. You know, the, the those of you that work with um, resin, you know, you guys make the um, silicone mold and uh, then you pour your resin on it. You can do the same silicone mold. And then of course, before you're gonna use it for the fun, then you have to wash it, clean it up, make sure it's, um, uh, I'm just trying to read the chat, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, you're gonna wash it, you're gonna clean it, then you're gonna do your impression, and then it's gonna be, it's, you're gonna have a total different uh, final product because remember we're imprinting in this one, then it will be like a mirror image of this, if if that makes any sense. It'll be, it'll be different uh, final product, still gorgeous. And then uh, you can reuse it, you can, you know, uh, make a mold and have it handy for uh, any occasion. You can make fondant like this to put over a cake, over a cupcake, over a cookie, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm trying to drink my tea because my throat is so dry. Let me uh, clean my hands. Alright. So... Now, what's next is to uh, make a beautiful packaging for it. So I like doing uh, putting my cookies in plastic bags. These bags come in so many different, you know, sizes. You can find them pretty much everywhere. And uh, the other thing I want to do is okay. Let's just put them in a bag first. And like I said, these bags come in different colors. I have all sorts of colors. No colors. Yeah, you don't want to put it in a color bag. You want to put it in a clear uh, silo bag, but you want to, what I mean was uh, that they come in different sizes. So you want to pick a size that just, you know, fit your cookie. I like to put my cookies inside and then clean my hands again because like I said, I'm working with a shortbread cookie and these cookies I make, I wanna tell you about, uh, they came out of the oven, I wanna say like 40 minutes before we started class. So they're very fresh. Shortbread cookie is space of butter. So you want to make sure uh, you touch your cookie and handle the bag the least possible because you don't wanna have no uh, fingerprints on your bag. 
if I'm doing this for a customer that order for me usually you know um, the rules for baking are like you have to put uh, gloves after your item is completely baked like you are allowed to work bare hands before you put your items or your product and uh, I will not add detergent. I will not add detergent. I will, I will rinse them uh, water, rinse them a few times, and I will not put any type of detergent on the lace because usually detergents have uh, perfumes and you don't want, the perfume is going to stay, the, the smell of it, so no. So okay, so now the fun part. I have my baggies already. So let's see what I want to use for decorations. I have some. Uh, okay. Let's do very, very simple. Fold it. These paper doilies, I want to say everybody has them. Right? Or you can even use. A real doily. Of course, the most amazing doilies comes from uh, Gorna Artsy. You guys have heard me talking about this, how much I love these doilies, like over and over and over again. If you're using the paper doily, you can use some of these tiny, you know, clothespins and pin it. I want to um, close mine in a different way. Yeah, you can use, I, I think, yeah, you can use any of those like organic detergents, maybe the ones that are for babies that are, they don't have any odd, um, you know, scents. And uh, yeah, but I'll be a little, more on the side of I don't know it's your call <laughs> so I'm gonna staple this you want to make sure you fold your uh, the bag a few times because you want to keep this as fresh as you can so this one I'm going to use the doily like I said beautiful doily from uh, Gorna Artsy and I'm gonna staple I use I use the green staples because right now I'm not gonna be and I'm gonna put something over it so I am going to make it very simple you can glue these ones you can tape them you can do all right so you have your beautiful doily and then I wanted to use, like I said, I'm going to use this one for, I don't know, this is going to be a, a cookie that Camila is going to take to her head teacher tomorrow for, I don't know, Valentine's Day maybe. So I'll put a little bit of glue on this flower. These ones are also from the store. I just spray it with a little bit of uh, those color mist sprays. right there and then I'm going to use da, 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 da. Uh, what about a little bit of seam binding seam binding also from uh, from uh, going artsy she had beautiful colors. I got my goodie box today for this coming month and I got some of the seam binding. Oh my, they're so pretty. Just uh, wait for that video coming up tomorrow for my goodie box. So I'm just gonna make a little bow.
Now don't let your hot glue go to the packaging. You don't want it to melt it. Then I want to use something else. I'm going to use this, which is actually a trim. It's a trim. And you need something. He just needs a little something. All right. Now you tell me you won't love to receive something like this. As a party favor or as a you know I'm just thinking about you something all right this is one of the options option number two binding now remember you can use any colors like now this cookie is uh, white so it's a plain canvas I can use any color I want which is exciting but hey probably knowing me you know I'm gonna end up with you know two colors on it maybe white and pink <laughs> okay so If you want something more like, I don't know, and this is when you know your kids come handy <laughs> because I usually call them and say, "Can you hold this part while I tie the bow?" Because I want my bow to very t be very tight. Like I said, I want these cookies to stay as fresh. And I like I love crinkling the uh, I love crinkling the uh, seam binding it's so beautiful you just I don't know give it a little extra shabbiness is that a word probably not but I like that word shabbiness okay so let's see for this one what I want to use. I want to add a center. Let me see. You know, in, in things like this is when you, um, it's so good to have all those extra little pieces of, when you're, you know, when you're, um, how you call it? When you're crafting and you cut a piece of ribbon or uh, an applique and you just cut part of it, this is the time to go through your little stash of, um, extra stuff so I think I'm going to add uh, yeah I'm gonna yeah I think I'm gonna end up having like layers and layers of white on this one but hey isn't this just elegant I love these flowers you can do so many things with them I absolutely love them and then another piece of my lace And then, what I want to do is, um, where is my trim? Give me just one second.
I'm gonna take a little piece of this one. These ones are available in the store in pink and white. And I love these floating pearls. I think they're so cute. And what I'm going to do is like I'm gonna add a little bit of glue in the center and glue it right there. And I know I'm gonna add a pop of color. We need to add some color, come on. I'm trying hard. All right. How is that for a uh, wedding or a bridal shower? Okay, I pulled these bags and they're kind of big for this. Um, for this cookie, but uh, let's just try to wrap one. Maybe we can size the bag to it. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Okay, once again, I'm like putting my cookies in the bag and then don't manage the bags while my cookies are inside. Okay, let me just wipe my hands. I'm gonna uh, cut the bag, the length of the bag. You know, once you have this, when you go, um, when you, once you are this far, um, it's up to you. I mean, you can decorate however you want. It's use your best judgment um, I want to use this paper doily like they're so um, cute like let's say you're sending this to school you know with the kids uh, send the fancy one for the teacher and then send uh, the other ones for the kids <laughs> you know they're just gonna rip it off and open them and eat the cookie uh, all right, so let me put, I think I have another doily here. This one's you find everywhere. This ones are gonna be I want to add a little bit of gold to that one. Mm 
Yeah, this one is so hard, doily. All right, so very easy project you can have your kids you know help you doing them you could have um, make a lot of them when you do it when you find a good recipe for um, cooking you can do um, you can do um, how you call it sugar cookie you can do um, shortbread cookie like this one you can do any type of roll dough, like for Christmas, you can do gingerbread. I'm not a fan of gingerbread, so I use like a sugar cookie, but I do brown sugar cookie. So they have the look of the gingerbread without being as um, hard or as stiff as the gingerbread. And um, yeah, it's make a good batch. Uh, a batch of dough usually give you anywhere from um, anywhere from uh, two dozen cookies or so, and uh, you can have your kids involved. You know, have your kids cut in the dough, or, or you know, for the holidays. It's, I'm sure it's a lot of people do that. Like you know, bake cookies for the holidays. But it doesn't have to be Christmas. It doesn't have to be just Christmas for cookies. Cookies is all year round. Um, you can make cookies for, uh, like I said, the first batch of cookies that I make was for my daughter's birthday, uh, first birthday party. And I could not pay seven dollars they want to charge me for a um, a piece of cookie. I just I can't. And so I decided to do it myself. And let me tell you, the first the first batch I did was not pretty at all. It was not pretty. And I'm fighting with this thing binding because I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to do. Um, Um, I'm trying to do a bow and I'm just too distracted now. Okay, anyway, let's let's finish this one. little button for that one. Yeah, some people out there having fun tonight, huh? <laughs> uh, which one, which one, which one I'm going to use? I'm going to use the white one. I want something smaller, maybe a flat back, no, I'm going to use the flower. Okay. This one looks like the flower is made out of fondant too. <laughs> okay, so now let's actually... Um, Okay, let's see if I can make a bow now. Well, I hope that the fact that I'm doing, um, you know, it's a different, I know it's a different class. I, uh, 
I know it's something that, I don't know, might be not a good idea for some people. And I hope you ladies enjoy it. I am just trying to be original in my class and just trying to bring to you something that I love doing. And this is one of the things that I enjoy the most. Uh, crafting with these amazing supplies and also um, this is what I do you know I bake not only for Costco but at home sometimes I just bake and you know some friends for their parties and stuff is something that I do is something that I like of course I am not working in a commercial kitchen right now but I do know the rules about baking I know I do know the rules about you know keep everything clean and sanitized and especially when you're working with um, food something that you're gonna serve for somebody to eat um, I've been doing this for many, many, many years. Like I said, you can use the, the laces instead of making the impressions with the laces directly on the fond and the fondant. You can make yourself a silicone mold. There is many places they sell silicone molds already, but I personally love the designs on the laces from the store. Um, and the fact that they are so soft and the fact that they are so um, versatile give me the idea to do it and um, like I said make a silicone mo um, yeah silicone mold and then you can just instead of rolling the the um, lace over the fondant to get the impression then what you do is that you got your silicone mold and you lay you know, you roll your fondant and then you lay it over the silicone mold and then you roll it again. So once you peel it off the mold, you have a great impression and um, and then you can cut it. If that, you know, makes you feel a little more comfortable, you don't feel comfortable with, you know, rinsing or washing your laces to put the impression on the cookie. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. This is what I do. Um, I'm gonna show you one more time. You see, not only you have a beautiful, delicious, I wish we have like smell-a-vision or taste-a-vision that I can give you everybody a piece for uh, you to taste. It's not because I made them, but these ones are delicious. My shortbread cookies are pretty good. Fondant, like I said, you can buy it. You can make it yourself, it's not hard at all. And if you're gonna buy this from somebody else, they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg. And I think it's something that with few supplies, you can, you know, take it over, you know, step it up a, a, a little notch and look how pretty. I would love to get this. I would love to make, you know, get a basket for Valentine's Day with, uh, I don't know, no, half a dozen, like six different uh, cookies arranged in a little basket. Yeah, I would like to one of my co-workers or the kids in school to bring one of this one for me. If I was a teacher, if I, I don't know. Um, I think they're fabulous. Oh, sorry. Like when you have them, you can make a table on your party and make a display of cookies. You know, you can layer them down or you can make a basket and arrange them. The possibilities are endless. And I know everybody out there is very talented. And um, you guys are going to try to make this and they're going to be fabulous and everybody's going to love it. And most important, everybody's going to remember what they receive when they went to uh, share that special moment with you. Well, so this is it. This is what I do. <laughs> so I wanted to thank you all for being here tonight and um, I want to remind you to stop at the store every every time I go in there <laughs> I find out that there is 
few more items added to the list. Everything is fabulous. Um, there's so many beautiful things. You need to um, stop at the store. It's amazing. And um, I got my uh, goodie bags, goodie box for this coming month, and I opened it up. And I ordered, you know, I got some of their paper. The paper is amazing for those paper crafters. It's a great, great quality paper. Very beautiful. Very like, um, it's a good quality paper. It's not that cheapy, cheapy, thin. No, it's not paper thin. It's beautiful. It's cardstock almost. Um, flowers. Flowers are gorgeous. Um, the new laces are amazing. The little, uh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm telling you. I'm in love with everything. Um, don't forget the challenge this month. This month on the uh, Gone Artsy Challenge Club on Facebook. This month is about um, uh, making jewelry with laces or ribbons. Great challenge. And what else? What else is going on? I think this is it. So I thank you all for being here with me tonight. I hope you guys try it. And I'll see you in my next class. And then tomorrow it's going to be Miss Deb. It's going to have her class tomorrow. So I'll see you all there tomorrow. Have a great night and thank you once again. Bye bye.